Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to write down the JavaScript code to perform the addition of two numbers using waveform. So in this lecture we are going to perform the addition of two numbers in two ways. First we are going to assign the values at compile time and the second way is we have to create a waveform and then enter the values at run time. So first we are going to write down the program to perform the addition of two numbers by assigning the values at compile time. So here first I am going to write down the basic structure of HTML document. So the first tag is HTML, then there is a header tag, after that there is a title tag. Write down the title for example addition of numbers, then close the title tag. Then write down the script tag inside head, then close the script tag, then close the head tag. After that open the body tag then close the body tag and then close the html tag okay so this is a basic structure of html document this is a script tag inside script tag we are going to write down the code of javascript to perform the addition of two numbers you can write down the script tag inside head tag or inside body tag as you want first i am going to save the program name the file for example addition and as the javascript code is embedded into html so the extension is dot html okay so now i am going to write down the simple program of javascript to perform the addition of two numbers by assigning the values at compile time so here i am going to declare two variables one is a variable a which we have to assign the value as 10 then the second variable that is a b we have to assign the value of b as 20 then the variable c now we have to add both these values and store it into variable c so write down the logic that is c equal to a plus b and then print the value of c for that write down document dot write in bracket c or you can also write down the message in double quotation that is addition is double quotation complete comma c okay so this is a basic program this is a simple program of addition of two numbers by assigning the value at compile time here we assign the value 10 to variable a assign the value 20 to variable b we add both the values and store it in a variable c then we have to print the value of c now save the program and i am going to run it Okay, so here as you can see the addition is 30. Okay, now we are going to perform the addition of two numbers using waveform. Means we have to first design the web page and then we have to do the coding. Because we want to enter the values at runtime. So for this we have to first design the page. Okay, now I am going to delete this. Okay, so first I am going to design the web page. For that, go to the body tag and then, for example, I am going to write down the tag here that is a center tag to display all the content at center. You can skip this tag also. Now, I am going to write down the paragraph tag and then write down, for example, first number. Print some of the statement or string that is a first number and then. I am going to insert the text box. For that, use the input tag. So, input id equal to in double quotation. For the first number, let's assign the id as s1. For example, you can also write down any id as you want. Then close the input tag and then close the paragraph tag. Now, for the second number, write down the same. So, again, I am going to write down the paragraph. Then here, write down the statement that is a second number then I am going to enter the second number in a text box so again write down the input tag assign the id here I am going to write down the id as s2 each control has a unique id so write down s2 then close the input tag and close the paragraph tag now we want to display the addition so again 
write down the paragraph tag and then write down addition is now i am going to display the addition in a third text box so again write down input tag input id equal to let's assign the id as s3 then close the input tag and then close the paragraph tag okay so all these do not happen without using button because when we click on the button when we insert the values inside the text box and click on button then the addition is displayed in a text box so button is very necessary here so for this write down the code for button so here i am going to again write down the paragraph tag and then write down the code of button so here input type equal to button because we have to insert the button in our web page then for example i am going to name the button as add so write down the value property value equal to add means the name of button is add and then when user clicks on the button the click event is generated and to handle this click event the on click event handler is used so on click equal to in double quotation write down the function for example add function and then close the input tag and then close the paragraph tag okay so this is a basic design of our web page now first save the program and i am going to refresh the page okay so this is a first number this is a text box 1 the id of this input tag is s1 the id of this input tag is s2 and the id of this input tag is s3 and this is a button so when we insert the values inside the text box and click on the add button then the addition has to show in the text box 3 means in s3 so this is a design and now we have to do the coding so for this again go to the program and now we are going to write down the code of javascript and to write down the code of javascript go to the script tag and write down the code so here we use the function that is add so here write down the function as add and then inside the function we are going to write down the code of javascript so here first i am going to declare the variable a b and sum so basically we are going to store the value of s1 into variable a s2 into variable b and then we calculate the sum now write down a equal to parse integer in bracket document dot get element by id s1 dot value okay write down the same for variable b so i am going to just copy this paste it and here change as b and here from s1 we have to change it to s2 okay let me first write down the program and then i will explain the meaning of all these okay now we get the values of a and b and then we have to calculate the sum okay to store the value of sum we have to use the variable that is a sum so write down sum equal to a plus b and then after that we have to print the value of sum inside a text box 3 means in s3 so write down document dot get element by id in bracket double quotation s3 dot value equal to sum okay so this is our simple program now first let me explain the meaning of this document dot get element by id so document dot get element by id is a method document dot get element by id is a method in javascript and which is used to select a specific element from an html document based on its unique id attribute i hope you understand let's remember once again document dot get element by id is a method in javascript which is used to select a specific element from an html document based on its unique id attribute so as you know here this is a input tag and which has the id as s1 and this has id s2 this has id s3 we have to select all these elements so here we use the id attribute and for that we use here document dot get element by id 
okay this d is in a small letter not in a capital letter so change it first okay now what is meant by parse integer okay so parse integer is a built in javascript function it is also a function in javascript which is a built in function which is used to parse a string and convert it into integer means we have to convert the string into integer means when we have to convert the string into integer then we use here parse integer okay so i hope you understand the meaning of all these a equal to parse integer document dot get 11 by id s1 dot value means we have to get the value of s1 and stored it into variable a then we get the value of s2 and stored it in a variable b now perform the addition that is sum equal to a plus b and then we have to print the sum inside the text box 3 so here document dot get 11 by id s3 dot value equal to sum the value of sum is displayed on s3 means in a text box 3 again here the d is small okay okay so i hope you understand this now save the program and i am going to refresh the page okay now enter the values for example inside s1 i am going to write down the value as 10 and inside s2 write down the value as 12 and then add okay as you can see the addition 22 is displayed in the text box that is a s3 so in this way you can perform the addition of two numbers using web form for that you have to first design the web page and then write down the code of javascript okay so i hope you understand today's tutorial very well if you have any doubt or any query regarding this topic then let me know in the comment section thanks for watching